Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be doing another POV street photography video because you all seem to absolutely love the last one. And today I actually have some new filters that I'm going to be testing if I can remember where I put them. I got some diffusion filters from KNF Concepts and hopefully they're going to add a cinematic bloom to all of the highlights within my photos. And when you pair that with a lens like the 70 to 200, the compression and the bloom is going to make for some absolutely crazy results. Now I could talk about what these filters do all day, but I'd much rather show you. So let's get to the city, get the GoPro set up and get some absolute bangers. So to get things started, we are starting with the 70-200, the A7 IV, and then I've put on the quarter strength bloom filter in the hopes that the mix of compression plus some bloom should make for some quite cinematic photos. Fingers crossed. Do not need to be on high continuous mode at all. Single shooting is more than enough for today. Hmm. I mean, could work. Could completely fail. Oh, I like this building. Lots of architecture recently, but I like the colours in it. One thing I do notice just by using the quarter strength is it loses a lot of contrast within your actual image. Obviously this can be brought back when you edit the photo in post-production, but it's just something to be aware of because I'm looking at these photos and they are very flat, but they're also very moody, so swings and roundabouts. If the uh, owner of this car is watching, drop me a DM and I'll happily send you that photo because that's a clean place to park your car. Look at this man. I legit had no idea any of this existed. Like just that entire street. Looks kind of sick. Where are these balconies? That's the word I was looking for. Trying to find a creative angle for them, but. I do kind of think these would look 10 times better 
if I had my wide lens on. So I might quickly, yeah, I might just quickly change my wide lens just while I'm around all this architecture and then I can always change back later. So the setup now is a Sony a7 IV, a 16 to 28 f2.8 from Sigma, and then a 1/8 strength bloom filter, which will still give the same cinematic haze kind of look. It just won't be anywhere near as strong. And I'm going to redo uh, all of this architecture, but this time, I don't know if you can see it on my GoPro, I'm gonna do it with a super wide lens and try and get really creative with some of my shots. It's just a completely different perspective. Like to go from the really compressed 70 to 200 to a super wide 16 mil is, yeah, it's a bit nuts. See the world in a completely different way when you change your lens. Like that's just bonkers how, not curved, but like how cool it looks. Oh, that's cool corner, yeah. That's the kind of corner I would like. That's sick, man. I might edit in like an aeroplane or something to be in that sky, but God, what a sick little spot. Changes this lens was such a sick idea. These are nuts. Honestly, go out to your local town and just walk around because you do not know what gems are hidden. Yeah, nice, nice. So since the last spot, I have switched back to the 70-200 and this has got the stronger bloom filter on the front. definitely feels like he's a main character, doesn't he? You know what, it might be cool to try and frame a shot here. So I get someone. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing. It's like a really nice composition. I just want someone to walk into like the bottom right of the frame. <laughs> yeah, sick. Oh, that was so worth it. Oh, and I got the one in the pink. Yeah, that's really cool. See, finding six spots all the time. The 
actually can get the church through that gap. Honestly, I'm so impressed with some of the photos I've got today. So impressed. The blue, oh. If you haven't noticed the bloom before, you can definitely notice it in that. I kind of want to keep going down these streets. I don't know if it uh, picked up in the back of that video. The two lads that I walked past went, look at the lens on that. The best way I can describe it is the photos currently look like they're out of a fairy tale. This isn't the way I intended to go, but that clock has caught my eye. I can get a wider shot. Ah. I can already tell that they're gonna edit. So nice. Got an idea for a photo, but I need to get the right moment. Maybe it'll edit nice. I can cut the other people out. Maybe it won't. Right, another thing this photo's good for is harsh light. It makes it have like an even bigger bloom to it in the final image. Hopefully we'll see another side to these filters. We might edit really nice in black and white. Oh, there are some absolute bangers in here today. So I've switched back to the 16 to 28, but I've put on the quarter strength bloom filter, which is the stronger one I've been using, because there's some buildings coming up in front of me that I haven't photographed in forever. And I think after how cool the architecture shots came out earlier on in the video, I want to do the exact same thing here, but with a stronger bloom filter, just to see what it looks like. So. That's where we're heading to now. That looks absolutely bonkers. Yo, I'm going to have to really brighten it up. Well, that looks so sick. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's going to be nuts. That looks so sick. Oh, it was so 
worth it. And this looks just as sick as I thought it was going to. Oh my god. Now don't get me wrong, like, I knew that location was going to be cool with this lens. But looking at these photos just on my camera, it over provided so much. So fingers crossed editing Dan is able to make something cool out of them because currently I'm over the moon with how they turned out. Absolutely over the moon. Just spotted a uh, quite nice frame I need the 70 to 200 for. Wait for my car to go. Why does someone, like, no one will ever come through and then two people come through at the same time? Anyway, right. The light's probably hitting that brownish building. It's making like a proper nice glow to it. If I had an ND filter, I could have lowered the shutter speed and then as the bus was going past or something like that, it would have made it look like it was blurred. Um, I could look quite nice, but unfortunately, I just don't have the capabilities to do that today. Final motorbike made that all worth it. I don't quite know how sharp he is. Okay, he's a bit blurred, but that's fine because he's moving. Still, though, completely made it worth it. <sighs> totally nearly just killed myself. Beatles have clearly come to Leicester. I just want to bang it and the hello. That's not quite what I was expecting, but. Can I get more head on? It's not my finest car photography work. Get one more. How ironic that I was literally just saying, wanted to end the session with a bang, and then we go and see a bloody Lamborghini. It's very windy, but I need to keep this quick as my GoPro literally has 1% left. I'm gonna head back home and get these photos imported into Lightroom. Boy oh boy, was today fun. These filters literally make the most subtle change to your raw image, but those subtle changes actually make a massive difference to the overall mood of the photo. Now, personally, I think I prefer the slightly weaker diffusion 
just because I prefer that cleaner look to my images. But I definitely think that there's going to be times where the quarter strength diffusion filter works an absolute treat. Now I personally bought the KNF concept filters, but there are tons of different brands out there that all make a very similar style of filter. Now I'm still toying around with the idea of making a Lightroom tutorial to show you all how the photos in today's video were actually edited. I don't use anyone else's presets, they are all entirely done by me, so if you want to see my editing process let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get a video made sometime in the near future. That is sadly all we've got time for. If you've enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as it genuinely means so much more to me than you might initially think. I hope you all have a smashing day and I'll catch you all next Saturday at 6pm. No bad days! Thank you.